Hi, my name is Jonathan Holt. I'm going to be going over how to do a charging port repair on an HTC EVO 3D. Just to go over real quick the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need a, a rework station, a solder rework station. The one that we're using is an Xtronic 4000 series. You're going to have the temperature set up on your hot air gun um, to about, about 430 to 460 degrees on this one. You're going to need your helping hands um, or something similar to that that you're going to hold the board of the phone with and you're also going to need your solder paste and also um, some solder uh, wick as some uh, copper braid that you're going to use to remove the, some of the excess solder off of the board what we're using there is 0.25 inches wide all right as we start here the nice thing about this charging port is it actually has a shield over top of it that's a separate piece of metal and this allows you to be able to heat it up from the top without coming to the danger of damaging any of the plastic inside the charging port. So here we're going to be taking off the defective one and in a moment we're going to be putting on a, uh, another one that we had gotten to replace it. As you can see on the uh, bottom part of the board there, there's some, uh, some kind of transparent tape there and what that is is captain tape. It protects the uh, the, the part of the board there right next to the charging port uh, from getting too hot, it's heat resistant tape. And we uh, are heating this up, we actually had our machine set to 430 degrees, or actually 470 degrees Celsius. We had to increase the temperature because we were having a little bit of trouble getting the solder to melt. So you just have to uh, heat that up adjust and adjust that accordingly. Since the uh, heat shield is on top of here, that heat shield kind of takes the majority of the heat at first. So the port, um, the bottom actual port part may not come up right away and plus on boards that are a little bit thicker it may require higher temperature so right here we were able to get it up and it just comes right off the board now we're going to get ready to remove the excess solder on here what we do is those two holes that go through the board all the way to the right is where the charging port actually sits down the other through holes are just where the the, the shield for the charging port goes through so those we're not going to be as worried about getting um, all the solder removed but on those two on the far right um, on the top and bottom we are going to remove all the excess solder from that as you see right there we're just uh, taking some of that solder um, or some of that copper braid and putting it right through the holes we've uh, got some flux paste that we uh, a little flux pen that we use to put flux on the copper braid and it helps the solder suck right up into it and then we've just folded that uh, copper braid in half there and we're removing the excess solder from the pins and we're just going to start completely from scratch. We're going to take off as much solder as we can and then we're going to put some solder paste on there and just give it a completely new um, new grounds for that charging port to connect to. And right here we're just going through and removing as much as we can from all those points. As you can see on here, um, right now we're cleaning uh, because the, the flux does have some corrosive properties to it and it'll kind of get stuck on the board and get kind of nasty. So we just took some uh, denatured alcohol with a brush and right now we're just cleaning it off to get it nice and neat. And it's a good practice to do this at the end of the repair as well. Um, that way you can make sure that there's no flux that will stay on there and possibly uh, corrode those components over time. And right here we are heating the board back up. You uh, don't have to get it as hot as it was whenever you took off the charging port, but the solder paste initially whenever it comes out of the, the little dispenser there is pretty thick and it's easy to put on more than you intend and then end up having too much and the pins uh, on the charging port, uh, the connection may get bridged between them. So if you heat up the board first, that whenever the solder paste goes on there as you see right here, it just uh, really thins out and, and just kind of spreads out instead of it being one big thick glob and then you go through uh, what you see right there is all you really need for those pins you don't want to put too much on there because then the um, whenever the solder melts it will bridge the connection between the pins and then put a a fair amount of solder on all the other points that's going to hold the charging port down right here we're just setting the charging port right on there as you can see because we got all the solder removed it sits on there nice and flat those two anchor points at the front that go through the board sit down nice and flat the heat shield doesn't sit down flat just yet because we didn't bother to get all the solder through the holes there but that's not going to matter because that's going to lay down here in just a second it's important to try to get the charging port itself to lay down nice and flat because if you don't when you're putting pressure down trying to press it down 
if it's not already sitting flush against the board, it may actually bend those pins if too much pressure is put. So the best practice is to really just get all the solder removed so you can put it on there nice and flat and flush against the board. And then with the heat shield, we can press that down because that's not going to damage anything when it goes down. And you'll see that here in just a second. Um, you can see the solder starting to melt. And in just a second, you'll see the, uh, the heat shield really sink into the board right there. After that, remove the heat and keep pressure on it. We're using an X-Acto knife here. Keep pressure on that port for just a few seconds because a couple seconds after you take the heat off, the solder will still be liquefied, so you don't want it to come up off the board any once you initially take off the heat. And then after you do this, the charging port is done, and, the, uh, and that's it. The only thing that you'll have to do after this is just clean it with some denatured alcohol to make sure that all of that flux that you would used earlier and all the flux that was already in the solder paste is cleaned off of there. And then uh, just use a tool like maybe a USB microscope, that's what we use, to just inspect those pins and make sure that it all looks clear. And, and here's a screenshot right here of uh, what those pins look like after this repair. And you can see they all have a really good connection. They're uh, securely attached to the board. And this phone was charging after this repair. So I hope this video was helpful and have a nice day.